So thank you very much, Pearl, for joining me today. Let's go right the way back to the beginning when you decided to launch um, Petty Pearl Low. What was the what was the idea behind it? Um, it wasn't kind of that thought out. I mean, basically, I just found a little bit of fabric. Um, it was kind of pink sequin. And I made these curtains and they, my husband had a look at them and said, oh, they look like cabaret curtains. He said, I think you should call, call them cabaret curtains and sell them like that. And then basically I just made them up, put them in Betty's, my daughter Betty's room. And from there I thought, oh, I might make a cape out of that fabric. And then it just literally became a collection. I mean, it really was that simple. It wasn't kind of calculated or anything <laughs> and so the obviously like you say it's got this real strong cabaret circus theme running throughout it is that something that you're going to continue you're going to keep that theme running um do you know what it's really strange because every season when I sit down and think okay what am I going to you know create for this season it isn't really like circus is definitely something that's inspired me um Cecil Beaton and um I love Gifford Circus and I love taking the kids to circus and fairs and things and some certain films like um Big Fish you know that old film I love that film and it's kind of you know and, and also um there's so many things like that that kind of Get, I think, oh, I want to create something like this. Um, but, you know, funny enough, recently for, for the autumn winter, yes, it was circus, but then I decided I wanted to do a leopard costume. I just, I don't know, I found some... It's always about when I find a bit of fabric, and then I think, I found this velvet leopard fabric, and I was like, oh, I'm going to do a leopard, and I'm going to put that in the collection, you know, and then I've decided from that I'm going to make a a black velvet cat's costume you know so I don't know and then I then in the middle of the night last night I woke up thinking oh I might do a bat you know I don't know it just comes from nowhere I don't know where it comes from so the autumn winter 16 collection what um any of your any favorite pieces the pieces that really stand out for you um yeah I mean I think well for me because Betty I always go my my sort of radar is was it's kind of like you know what Betty likes and 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 she her favorite thing is the little 1920s it's almost um it's black and white stripe with a little black and white hat okay. and she loves it so much she puts it on and she instantly does like mad dances and and I've just kind of made up some postcards of her in it and um I think that's my favorite piece actually yeah it's that sort of, it's almost like those kind of 50s cinema girls, you know, they sort yeah. of used to wear, you know, they'd have the trays and they'd have the little hats yeah. and that's what it's like. And talking about Betty, does she play quite a strong part when it comes to des the design process, but also does she try a lot of the stuff on at home? Yeah, she loves it. I mean, actually, she's been my inspiration because ever since she was two, she would not go out of the house unless she was wearing a fancy dress you know one of those kids that you just go oh my god you know we're going somewhere really posh and you look like you know you're dressed up as a bumblebee you know but it was just that's she's always been like that and I think that um I would because I'm so obsessed with um kind of vintage and so I would find her these unbelievable outfits um but that you know she put them on she'd go oh it's scratchy I'm not wearing it no 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 take it off and so I think, okay, I've got to make her one that isn't scratchy. Yeah. So that's how, you know, it came about, yeah. really. Um, getting back to actually, you've, you've just touched on the vintage. You are a big fan yourself of, of vintage <laughs> clothes. Because I wanted to talk to you about your, your style. Um, why do you love vintage so much? I love vintage because from a very, very young age, I always wanted to be the only person in an item. And if any of my friends bought anything that I had, then that was it. I wouldn't wear it again. Okay. So vintage for me is about being um, individual and it's about speaking. Also, I'm not stick thin. I've got boobs and a bum. And so for me, the vintage styles really work. 1930s, 40s, they are harder to find these days. So sometimes I do have to make my own. Um, and also, I just love the fabrics, um, the crepes and the silks and the satins and the tulles that you just don't find anymore. Now, obviously... A few years ago, you designed a women's line collection for Peacocks. You also did some stuff at Liberty, some dresses and um, some interior stuff. Is that something you're going to go back to, do you think? Or are you going to focus more on the, on the kids' line? I think I am going to go back to it. I found a few styles that I want to kind of recreate. Um, 
I I get a lot of emails and tweets and Instagram messages from people saying that they really miss my dresses and they have to buy them on eBay. Yeah. Um, and the only reason why I didn't do them was because I just felt like I needed to do something else. I sort of felt like I'd done it, yeah. you know, and I just felt like I wasn't inspired by it anymore. And everything that I create, because I'm such, I'm such a creative person. I think in pictures and I'm constantly creating in my head. It just hasn't been something I've thought about recently, yeah. but I'm sure one yeah. day I will do it again. And um, your uh, daughter Daisy, um, what does she? Because obviously she's into fashion. You know, she's a fashion icon in her own in her own right. What does she think about your kids' line? Yeah, she loves it. She gets really jealous of Betty because she kids, you know, oh, it's Betty gets the hat, dress up in all these things. Can you make one in my size? So hence, I've made a butterfly that she's going to wear for Glastonbury, oh, okay. and she's asked for it in different colours. And so yeah, we're kind of. We're going down that route. We're yeah. going to kind of do a few special pieces for Daisy. But yeah, she loves it. Excellent. And just lastly, with the, the, the brand, where would you like to take it? Where would you like, you know, is there anything else you'd like to add to it? Yeah, I mean, I would love to do loads of things because that's how my brain works. You know, I just, I create all the time. I'd love to go into kind of children's um, interiors. I've already thought I want to do some sheets with kind of all my kind of circusy thing um, and I'd like to do some bridesmaid dresses and I don't know I, I, I feel like I want to take it much further but I feel like I'm only I'm, I'm only sort of kind of feeling my way it's yeah. all very new to me yeah. um, this is my th well my I'm now going into my third season and and it's just me I don't have anyone else um, so it's slowly slowly but I'm sure I'm gonna kind of you know I want to conquer the world with it <laughs> and actually do you feel with children's wear because they use their imaginations so much and you know they love like you say they love dressing up and in terms of taking that into their room you know there's so much that scope for a children's line do you feel there's more you can do because you can be a bit more creative and a bit more out there than you can say with adult stuff? Yeah, definitely. Because you can sort of use kind of really mad colours and you can add bells and you can do things that you can't, you know, always do for adults, you know. Um, I've tried kind of doing interiors for adults and stuff and it isn't isn't an easy market I don't think yeah. um, I mean I do a lot of interior design for people's house and that's that's the kind of side thing yeah. that I do which I love um, but in terms of like the, the lifestyle brand that hasn't been as easy yeah. Yeah. Um, an easy sell as it is you know doing to kids yeah well thank you so much it's a beautiful collection we absolutely love it and I'm um, looking forward to seeing where the label goes yeah thank you thanks so much <laughs>